We're here at the opening of intramural cricket competition. We have some very special guests. Graham Napier, John Childs, Peter Church and Tom Moore. We're also here to celebrate the relationship between Essex County Cricket and the University of Essex. We're here with all-round cricketer and all-round top bloke, Graham Napier. So um, you've got a couple of world records to name. Um, is there anything else you'd like to achieve before the end of your career? I think for any player playing for your country is something I'd, I'd love to do. Uh, I think my time's run out in terms of me uh, achieving that, but never give up, give up on that dream, and that's something I'd love to do in the next, you know, before my career comes to an end. Well, absolutely. John had a late start to his career, so um, it's not too late for anyone. Really. No, anyone can have a good season, and I've been in and around to set up. If they need someone to fill up the gap, I'm, I'm more than willing to, to do that. That's brilliant. You've been in the game for 15 years now. What's been the biggest changes in cricket, maybe the introduction of the IPL? Um, well, uh, not so much the IPL, but 2020 certainly brought about a lot of change within cricket and the way cricket is run and, and the fortunes of cricket and cricketers themselves. Um, so, and then the IPL coming in on the back of that. But um, at the be all end of the day, four day cricket, playing for England test matches, every English player, that's what they want to achieve. Um, and that's what makes uh, us so strong at the moment as a country is that we, we're producing test match players and not just 2020 players. Well, looking back on the um, 15 years since you made your first class debut, uh, well, is there anything you'd change or would you do everything exactly the same? Oh, no, I've certainly got no regrets about my career. You know, I've had a, a good career uh, over the 15 years. I think if I'd have uh, listened and learned more when I was a bit younger uh, and learned quicker, then things might have been a little bit different. But um, overall, I'm very happy with my career. You're a local Colchester boy. What do you think of John Wald's Colchester United? Well, I, I try to keep up with uh, the use from time to time, but um, I haven't been to see any games recently, so I, I can't really comment about that at the moment. You, uh, so you said you coached the uh, first team um, when you were here, um, and I suppose you must have had a good look at the union's facilities. Um, it's, it's all changed from when I was here. It was over, over 10, 12 years ago um, when I was coaching the cricket team here. Um, there's a bit of a stop gap in between the uh, sort of Christmas period and the, and the beginning of our season, but uh, it's changed so much. So the main sports halls the same, but they've got the facilities here look fantastic, and it's really come on a lot. So you like the facilities here, but what do you think of sport at Loughborough? Um, obviously, they've got the academy there. So you know the, the English Cricket Academy's based at Loughborough. It's probably the best indoor facility in the world. Uh, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough place to be up there, and, and they're a very sports orientated university. But that's what's so good about. Essex University now it's looking to be sport orientated. After your career you might think of a master's degree maybe so you could try out for the first team instead of maybe coaching. I said try out. <laughs> I think I need to get some GCSEs first. <laughs> so is there any chance of seeing you on Strictly next year? I doubt it. Um, you know, they, they tend to go for the England players but you never know. I'd, I'd give it a go. I'd give anything a go really to be honest. Um, but uh, for me it's just playing cricket this year and, and uh, it's my benefit year so I've got to work hard for that and uh, hopefully in, at the end of that year I'll, I'll get another contract for Essex and, and have a, another season playing. Well you mentioned your benefit year just then, uh, it's on February the 11th, is there anything you want to tell the viewers at home about that? Well we've got, I've got a Valentine's Ball on February 11th um, uh, but I've got various events throughout the whole year. Best way to sort of uh, catch up is go to groundapia.com uh, and we'll have a, soon have a full listing of all our events throughout the year. We'll have a little note on the bottom of the screen there, Graham, for you. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Graham. Yeah, thanks uh, take care. Good luck for the next season. Thanks, thanks very much, much James. James. Well, you're an ex-England player yourself, and uh, you currently work as the Youth Academy, um, head of the Youth Academy. Are there any new hot prospects and any new names that we sh should be watching out for? I'm always a little bit careful to say that, because uh, once you put a name up forward, then it's always a situation. But we have a young man called Ben Folks who's just signed professionally. Came off the academy. He's in Bangladesh at the moment with England, under 19s, doing exceptionally well. So uh, I would say he would certainly be one to watch. So, what's your aim to develop relationships with the university? Well, as you may know, and I'm sure you do, there is a partnership agreement which has just been put in place with uh, Peter Church and the County Cricket Club. And in particular, it's for young players who uh, are getting close to their UCAS decision making. And whilst obviously we have lots of MCC centres of excellence around the country, we don't necessarily see all the boys going there. And the opportunity perhaps for them to come and get a good education here with a potential bursary within the sport um, is a fantastic opportunity. And, and as we know, Tom Moore has just started here, um, a cricketer who we are showing some uh, excellent talent at the moment with his fast bowling so 
it really is a great and, a, and an encouraging adventure for, for the next few years for us. Brilliant. Could I ask a quick question about your career, John? Uh, could you give us a highlight or two? A highlight or two? Well, obviously playing for England uh, was uh, certainly uh, one against the West Indies. I was lucky enough to be one of 23 in that series. Uh, <laughs> obviously, uh, we, uh, we didn't play as well as we are playing at the moment, although I will gloss over the Pakistan result yeah. very quickly. Um, but it, it's so much more professional now, but uh, I was lucky enough to play 22 years as a professional for Gloucestershire, Essex and England and, uh, and now being part of uh, the future of young players cricket, I mean I'm, I'm a very lucky man to, uh, to have gone all the way through my career having wanted to go to work every day. <laughs> is, that, is that what you want to push on and press into the young players that they can achieve what you've achieved? Um, Absol absolutely, up? you know th there's so many things now that the young player is given um, and can have the opportunity to have and, and we're now seeing where is a young player probably even five years ago um, was being introduced into the England side at 23-24, we're now seeing 20 year olds getting their chance to play for England. So the, the fast tracking, the information um, at England levels, England Lions, England development programs uh, and the academy programs are such targeting those areas and the funding that goes in there. So um, it's certainly a fantastic time for young, young cricketers of the future. What's the best advice you give to young cricketers in this day and age of well, modern day cricket? Well, the first thing is to enjoy it. Uh, because uh, I always think that enjoy it, when you're enjoying something, you're always wanting to do it, so you're always open to suggestion improving. Um, certainly, I would say, you know, have belief in your own ability, listen to the coaches, and give it your best shot. Brilliant. Thanks very much, John. Okay, nice to talk Thank to you guys. Thank you very time. much. Thank you for your time. Cheers. Thanks. We're here with Peter Church, the Director of Commercial Services here at University of Essex. Um, a big cricket fan, I understand. What's your impression of the relations today? Um, I think they're excellent. I mean, I think this is when we started off looking at this partnership and ways which we could work more collaboratively. Days like today were really absolutely what we had in our mind. This was the vision of uh, bringing uh, players like Graham Napier, getting them engaged, uh, creating a, 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 some real excitement and I think there's a, you can sense today how positive and excited and everybody is that's here. So I think you know, absolutely, this is absolutely what we had in our mind when we started off with this relationship. So we've spoken to Graham and John about their previous careers. So how many caps have you got? How many caps? Uh, <laughs> Um, not the sort of caps I could probably talk about on, uh, on, on <laughs> your TV, but uh, uh, no, I mean cricket's always, uh, I've always been passionate about cricket. My dad um, uh, played second 11 cricket for Northampton, so I guess it's been in the blood. Um, I managed to play uh, first 11 college cricket at, at Oxford for Royal College. Um, well, what's, um, what's your aim for the two institutions so, um, over the period of the next um, few weeks, few months, uh, in the short term and long term? Uh, just in a couple of sentences, I know it's a long manifesto that you would... Uh, um, in a couple of sentences, I think the um, I think there's a commi there's definite commitment at the university that we need to be raising the profile of sport uh, for existing students and also new students we're looking to attract with higher tuition fees. And I think that uh, when we looked at what is our strategy for improving sport, investing in facilities, and and perhaps looking at having some key performance sports, what seemed very logical to me was that we should build a relationship and a partnership with the biggest professional sporting organisation in the county, which is clearly Essex County Cricket. Um, so I think in, uh, that was really where the, the, the process started. And I think the vision is probably a five-year plan where um, we've obviously set up the scholarship scheme and I think Tom Moore, who you're speaking to in a few minutes, is the, the first scholar and we're working actively on having our, our second one next year. So I think the commitment is to bring more academy players to the university to study for their degrees and train with the county, which raises the profile for, for both partners. But I think the main thing is that um, it's the first steps on a, on a long relationship where I think both parties have the same aligned objectives. And if we can mutually work at raising the profile of the cricket and raising the profile of the university and actually doing something for the, the, the good of cricket as a whole, then that's really the journey we're on. And the final stage of that journey would be fantastic to get MCC endorsement as being a, a centre of excellence. I think that's my, my final target and hopefully we can achieve that in a few years. Uh, amazing achievement to be a part yeah, of them. Definitely. Well, thanks, Pete. It's been nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks for Cheers. Thanks. Um, we're here with Tom Moore, the scholarship player for uh, Essex University. How are you enjoying your time here at the moment? Really enjoying it at the moment. First time went really well. Um, settled in nicely with the cricket club. Um, <laughs> and uh, no, really enjoying my time here so far. The scholarship's going really well, and uh, the subjects are 
subjects what I wanted to take and David also. So is there something as it's counted I know about Weapon Freshers Week? Are there any stories you know about now? May, there may be a few things that my flatmate know, but um, I'd like to keep them <laughs> things on the on the down low for the moment, if that's okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so how you been enjoying uh, Sub Zero and all that? I meant sorry, I meant the sports. Oh, wow. <laughs> sports is yeah. really good here. Um, I hope to to Peter about uh, using nets around the, around the facility. Um, I know that part of the scholarship scheme, John Childs and uh, the people at Essex are trying to get the Essex curator down to have a look at the, look at the picture of, uh, at the university, sorry. <coughs> and no, the facility is indoor, we have nets every week, twice, three times a week. The facilities are, are really good here, so. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, you, you've been involved with Essex County. Yep. Who's your favourite person there? My favourite person. Oh, <laughs> it's a trick one. I get along with Nate's well. We get along really well. Um, all the bowlers, um, we have a good rapport with each other. Chris Silver with the fast bowling coach. Um, we have a good time together. All the bowlers, basically all the young bowlers. So Reese Topley, Tamar, we all have good fun together. So. Well, um, yeah, cheers for coming on, Tom. That's right, mate. No worries. See you, Bob. Cheers, thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. It's been a good afternoon here at Essex. Me and Chris are off with the Napes for a pint of the issue. Absolutely. It's been a successful day for the relationship between the County Cricket Club and Essex University and I look forward to seeing the results in the future.